I'm addicted to the love that you're giving Every minute, every day I've been craving What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel and I am so happy you guys are here. So let's go ahead and start with this tutorial. We are going to start prepping our face and I'm using the Urban Decay B6 Prep Priming Prep Priming I think it's called? <laughs> the Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Then I'm moving on to my moisturizer and of course you guys already know Derma E. Then I'm going to go ahead and move into my eyebrows. I like to do my eyebrows first, but I'm going to do them off camera because they take so long and my camera doesn't have a lot of battery. So, eyebrows are done and I like my eyebrows to be bold and thick for this look because as you saw in the tutorial in the thumbnail, it's kind of bold. So I am using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Texture Palette and I'm so excited I got it. We're going to start off with this corner um, color called Sandal Wood. And we are going to place that with a, a blending brush. And we are going to apply this on the crease area. And we're going to blend upwards to the corner of where our eyebrow starts. Yes, ma'am. Then I'm doing the same thing to the next eye. And then I'm moving in with this a color called a bossy. Oh yes, I like that name. <laughs> and I'm, I'm applying that on that deeper part of the crease like I actually have a, a bump right there like my bone is like hello I'm right here so I am applying that right in that area and then I am blending it upwards and upwards and yes so I'm just pretty much I did this a couple of times to make sure that I got it really intense and then I'm going in with the color fling and it's beautiful <laughs> this palette is on another galaxy so I'm just applying the color a fling, which is that textured uh, red, I would say. It's like a reddish, deep burgundy color. And I'm just applying it on the lid and a little bit uh, towards my um, crease. And then I am going in with that corner color called Angelic. Angelic. And then I am applying this on the middle part of my eyelid. I'm sort of trying to create a halo um, look but not too like I spend time creating a halo look you know what I mean so I just went in a couple of times and grabbed that angelic color and placed it on the lid and then I went back and blended everything make sure that everything was very well blended as you can see with, it, with my favorite Sigma brush which is the blending brush then I'm going in with the liner liquid liner I'm using the NYX matte liquid liner and ladies take your time be easy because a liner can sense fear Let's spray on it. <laughs> Such a good ball. Sorry. So we're just going to wing it. That's right. I like to just start off with the wing first and then I like to connect it and start little by little strokes and connecting it from the outside to the inside part of my eye. And then I'm just pretty much taking it from there. My camera cut and I didn't even notice, but I wore lashes. I'm using Pure Cosmetics in Flirt. I am obsessed with this lashes, people. Pure Cosmetics is bomb with lashes. All right, so prepping my skin, I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and then I am using uh, my Holy Grail Foundation. Oh yes, it is. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in the color 205, which is natural beige. <laughs> oh, and I totally forgot I needed the color correct. Yes, yes, indeed. I'm using this new color correctors that Nip and Fab came out with, and they're coming out with their makeup line, and this is 03 in terracotta. And then I went in and used a dot of the O2 Banana to sort of blend that terracotta color out and look a little bit better. Yes, indeed. And then we continue to the foundation process. And I am blending my foundation with the Beauty Blender from Real Techniques. She is babe. And then I'm going in with the Total Control Foundation by NYX and I am absolutely loving it. And I am a savage, so I just apply drops to the face. And then I go and blend it all over. I love how beautiful these two foundations mix. The coverage I get, it's like perfect. I don't know what I'll do without concealer. Concealer is like my best friend. <laughs> this one is the NYX HD Concealer and I think it's in the color, I'm gonna tell you right now, CW02 Fair. And as usual, you already know where I apply my concealer, where I go savage and apply my concealer everywhere. <laughs> then I'm using, oh yes guys, I am 
stick contouring today. I am using this wet and wild stick contour. It's called dual ended contour stick and it's in the color medium tan. And I am applying it everywhere that I see here on YouTube. Especially that nose, man. I gotta contour that nose. And then I'm just blending everything away like I see here on YouTube. No science, people. No science. But I do tell you, I see a huge difference when I'm contouring with a stick rather than powder. Because my face is really dry, so stick contouring, like cream contouring, it helps if you have like dry skin. Makes it look a lot more dewy. Alright, so after I do this, I like to bake muffins and I am using the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder. Oh, this thing is balls, people. Like, I'm almost running out and I'm like, how would I live? So just baking where I apply the concealer and I'm gonna dance for you. And then I like to do it here just to sharpen out that contour, just to be like, BAM! Contour on fleek. And I just leave it for, I would say, less than 10 minutes. Then I am grabbing the same color, which is bossy. And with a blending, small blending brush, I am going to apply that in the lower lash line, lash line, lash line. And then I am going to contour with the Hoola Benefit Bronzer, which is one of my all-time favorites. And I am using a Pixie, no, this is a Luxe brush in 504 called Large Angled Brush. And I absolutely love this brush for contouring. It's like amazing grace then i'm moving back to the eyes because i'm like that i am using the pacifica um eyeliner i think that's what it's called it's in black then with a clean brush i am removing the powder from my fuss but then i am using a little tiny brush this is a real technique brush to um go ahead and go in with the shade and light contour palette by cap on and i am using those two colors in the middle which is the first one is banana and the other one is kind of a light color and i'm using that to set under my eyes <laughs> just to pretty much brighten them a lot more than what they already are which i absolutely love that concealer all right and then i'm going with this new bra uh, highlighter that i'm like yes this is called ofra rodeo dry it is beautiful ladies like beautiful a lot of people rave about it and I am so excited I finally got my hands on it and I like it so far it's like highlight every time I wear highlight and I see it pop I just die <laughs> we're okay people we're okay <laughs> moving on <laughs> And, and now I'm going in with the Anastasia and Nicole palette and I am using the, I think this is called the Glow Getter. I don't know what it's called. I'm just popping a little bit on the inner corner of my eye and as my brow bone highlight just to bring a little more um, highlighting to the eye just to make it a little more dramatic. So this chromatic is called? Chromo ah, I don't remember. <laughs> then for lips, I'm using this Sephora Liquid Lip Stain. And this is in the color Mauve. I, have, I'm, I don't have it with me, but I'm going to look for it. And I'm going to put the name on the bottom so you guys can actually get the right shade. So this is a super, super good lip stain. I have a couple of the colors, which I'm obsessed. And then, oh my god, guys, this color. This is a Juar Cosmetics, a skinny dip um, lip topper. Oh my god, I thought it went perfectly with my eyes. And here you have it, guys. My chronomatic <laughs> i don't even know i'm saying it right anyway here is my tutorial for this week guys if you liked the video please ladies don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button right there i'm gonna let you guys enjoy me because i'm feeling myself on this makeup tutorial <laughs> thank you ladies for sticking till the end i love you see you guys on my next video bye <laughs>